interviewing not one, but two of SATV's finest work members. For the first person we have on the show is my good friend, Steve Spencer. Steve Spencer, how are you today? Hello, Delroy. I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad. So today, in today's show, I'm going to ask you numerous of questions. So, what made you actually decide to begin film? Um, I've always been doing some sort of video, whether it's filming bands or making a cook or making cooking videos or just whatever. Um, I actually started editing video in high school. Okay. And I used to use the linear deck, which is the old VHS machine. And um, during my study halls and sometime during lunch break in high school, I would go and just edit video. Are there any tips that you will give to someone that's freshly beginning in the film production? Yes. Um, be very hard on yourself, but not too hard on yourself, and don't give up. One of the most important things is to just go out and do it, bring it home, and then just scrutinize it and try to figure out everything that's wrong with what you've done. Okay. Mostly, um, camera shake, bad headroom, bad frame shots, you know? Yep. I don't know if you know anything about photography, but if you can, use the rule of thirds, meaning you take your screen, you break it up into thirds horizontally, you break it up into thirds vertically. Try to place your uh, subject or whatever you're trying to get within frame in a nice position within the thirds, not just you know a centralized talking head. Your first job that was relative to film. Um, my first job relative to film is I shot a documentary in Jamaica. Wow. For Five hundred bucks, okay. including housing, <clears throat> a free plane ticket, and food. That's amazing. Uh, I never got put together, and I shot like something like. 80 hours or like 60 hours of footage and wow. actually it's sitting in a box somewhere and it's just tons of VHS tapes and if I ever have the time I'd like to put it together but it wasn't my project so okay. they actually only paid me for the video part of yeah. the, the taping part so I did that. That's yeah, cool. That's Explain that. Jamaica, how was it? Oh, it was great. It was, um, uh, it was this organization, and they had just done a video in like South Africa, and yep. it, like won all these awards and did really well. So then they were trying to do a follow up in Jamaica, but I don't know if they ran out of money or what happened, but hey, it never got put together. As long as you got your five hundred dollars <laughs> in a trip to Jamaica, sure. What are your dreams and aspirations involving film? What's the next step? What is Steve Spencer going to do next? Well, my plan right now is to learn. All these programs here that okay. you know people want to use that I don't know. I know Final Cut. I do know iMovie, and then um, I know Live Type, and I'm trying to learn basically the rest of them while I'm here. Okay. Eventually, you know, I want to cut actually a lot of mini music videos with the music by me and uh, some of my friends, and then I'd love to cut uh, like a full length movie. Ah, but amazing. I'm working my way up to that. You okay, know? okay, baby steps, baby steps. Now, these next questions I'm going to ask are pretty much really getting to know Steve Spencer. So, Steve Spencer, I noticed that you ride your bike to work <laughs> every day, pretty much. And I was wondering, can you beat Lance Armstrong in a bike race while he's on steroids? I probably can't beat anybody in a bike race. <laughs> <laughs> I make it across town. I don't fall over. And I guess that's, that's my trick. Okay, my next question is, do you know Two Chains the rapper? Nope. Okay. Who was your favorite rapper? Oh, good question. Um, oh, it's got to be cool, Keith. Good afternoon. Thank you for tuning in. Skew Television, starring your host Delroy McDonald, aka Don Lemon. Today we have a special guest, Patrick Kennedy. Hello, hello. Here I am. I'm here. <laughs> What's up, Delroy? <laughs> Nothing much, Patrick. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Amazing. Wonderful. Good. Glad you could make it today. Yeah, so, you know, I, I, it took me a long time to get here today, but I'm here. I want right. to get to know the real Patrick Kennedy. The real Patrick the Kennedy. The real Patrick Kennedy. Is that a question? It's both. Question and a statement. Okay. Both together. All right. <laughs> together. All right. <laughs> so my first question is, how did you actually get a job at SATV? Well... I went to this wonderful college called Endicott College. Wow, ironic. <laughs> ironic. <laughs> and they have this wonderful internship program. Okay. In a full-time full internship program. So I was a full-time intern here at Salem Access TV my senior year in Endicott, or for the first half of my senior year, I should say. 
and uh, I worked on a lot of stuff. I learned a lot. And then um, when the semester was over, I still volunteered with some uh, different programs here at SATV while I was still in school. And then um, luckily they offered me a job in the summertime, just a part-time job, uh, working with a youth program that we had running, like a youth summer program. So I was starting off just kind of doing that. And then I started, then they uh, hired me after the summer as part-time to do uh, the important meetings, like the city council meetings, school committee meetings, and stuff like that. And then um, over the years, or over a couple of years, I started getting more responsibility here at SATV. And, um, you know, like, uh, besides covering meetings, I would actually cover the station and uh, help out with productions and stuff like that. And then down the road, a, the training and production coordinator <coughs> position opened up and I applied for it and with a lot of work in uh, trials I got that job and I had that job for probably four or five years okay and then our program director left to go to a different station and um, I just moved up into the job of program director here at Salem Access TV which is a lot different than the job of the training and production coordinator so uh, I guess I've held three jobs here at SATV well congratulations <laughs> yes. Can, so question <laughs> You said that after the internship was done, you mm -hmm. decided to come back and help more. Yes, yes. Uh, and that was during the, my, the last semester of college for me, uh, you know, the last senior semester. And I would come and help with a couple shows, like okay. Salem Now was one of the shows yep. I came and helped with, as well as, I think, uh, Inside Salem, but also other just kind of random productions that they did, um, just because... When I was interning here, I had built relationships with the people and producers here. Yeah. And, you know, I didn't. I wanted to help more. <laughs> and, Understandable. So you know, I I would take some time out from school, from doing homework and all that stuff, and come here and and help them out. And you know, that was a good foot in the door too, because it showed the it showed the people that worked here at the time that oh, Patrick really cares about this place. And you know, they they came to me and offered me a job. Come the Come the summertime with, with uh, helping out with the kids and youth programs. So, you know, I think it really helped to come and uh, to come and volunteer. So, tip to all you interns out there: That's right. Make sure you show dedication, determination, hard work, never give up, so yep. on and so forth. Because then you'll get a job, <clears throat> just like my friend Patrick here. All right. So, as you might know, I would like to become a favorite, uh, famous broadcaster. Yes. Do you have any tips? Any Words of advice for me to reach that goal. Your outgoing attitude, keep it going. Keep, you know, don't, uh, don't be afraid to, to use it. Obviously, you seem to, for broadcasting, you need to go, talk well in front of cameras. You seem to do that well, so keep well, thank doing you. that. That's, that's <clears throat> important. I, I feel, I knew a lot of people, because, you know, I was in communications degree, and a lot of people said, oh, yeah, I want to be... You know, I want to be a broadcaster. I want to be on the news. I want to be, you know, a news yeah. anchor. But you put them in front of a camera, and it, it, it's like a whole new world. So, obviously, trying to be a broadcaster, you need to have that, that natural ability to be comfortable in front of cameras, in front of crews, in front of people. Okay. And, you know, being able to be yourself. And that, because as a broadcaster, especially these days where... A broadcaster can mean so many different things. You could work for a sports thing, like covering football games, baseball games, you know, wrestling, or not any sports at all. You could be, you could be on radio. You could be on internet radio. I think the most important thing is just to let, you know, yourself shine through that, and not just, not just sit and recite the statistics, but do it in a good way. Out of curiosity, how fast do you think you could run a mile? In? Oh crap! You're gonna make me run a mile. No, I will never make you run a mile. I'll run a mile. Uh, let's see. A good mile is what, like five minutes, six minutes? I say so, yes. Probably eight, nine. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'll start off strong, and then about three quarters of the way, I'll be like, oh, crap, my legs okay. are getting so. Okay. I haven't ran a mile in a while. Back when I was in high school, I, I remember being able to just keep on going and just Still having it in me and even going a mile and a half or a two miler, but I haven't ran in a while. So okay, okay. I'd say probably eight, nine minutes. A question for you is do you consider Denzel top three favorite actors? 
Denzel. Washington. Denzel mm. Washington. He was really good in Training Day. Obviously, he was good in X. Uh, he's made some weird movies, some not so good ones. I don't think he's in my top three. Oh, wow, wow. So I, 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 he's real good. Don't, okay. I'm not denying okay. Denzel, okay. but you, I don't think he's in my top three. You are the first person not to, <laughs> to ever say that.